Hey there aviators, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tabletop Android, your friendly neighborhood aviation enthusiast. Today I have something special in store for you. We're going on an adventure with ChatGPT, an incredible tool that can help us create flight plans. I'll be the first to admit it, I was not into AI. I didn't understand it, and it became too much of a buzzword for me to want to fall into that bandwagon. Oddly enough, my wife was all about it. As a copywriter and someone with strong work ethics, she dove deep into the world of AI. She even took courses and would constantly tell me about the misconceptions and wonders of AI. The biggest reveal was knowing what lane AI should be in. Once I understood the limitations and adjusted my expectations, I became a lot more comfortable with using it. And now, I kind of sort of use it all the time. I bring all of that up because creating a flight plan with ChatGPT isn't going to be cut and dry. You're not plugging in numbers and getting a clean report. Also, your mindset should be that you're having a conversation with an AI assistant. There will be back and forth messaging. You will ask follow-up questions or follow-up requests in order to get what you want. Okay, enough context and backstory. Let's get on with creating a flight plan. Starting at the beginning, in order to create a flight plan, you need to know the following items. Your route, airspace, flight rules, aircraft performance, weather conditions, and NOTAMs. In the US, a real pilot would then file their flight plan with flight service stations or certain aviation apps. Since we're flight simmers, we would file our plan with VATSIM or Pilot Edge, whichever is applicable. I think the most important instruction to give ChatGPT is its role. It has an enormous amount of information, and unless you scope the knowledge set, the responses you get may not be as accurate as you want them to be. I normally start out by typing, you are a flight planner, or you are a certified flight instructor, depending on what kind of information you're trying to obtain. Once it has that role, it will funnel all its responses through that lens. Next, we'll want to establish what the route is. We'll go with my home airport, Gwinnett County, which is just outside the Atlanta area, and make our way to Shuttlesworth International Airport. Roughly 141 nautical miles. I chose this route because of the glaring Class Bravo airspace in front of us. Sometimes it's intimidating to deal with this airspace. The good thing is most of them have routes that are intended for smaller airplanes to use without causing a bunch of fuss. These are called VFR flyway planning charts. I gave it a roll and now I'm going to tell it where I want to fly. I want to fly from KLZU to KBHM. It acknowledged what my request was and then gave me some information. It confirms the route and an approximate distance. It even gave me an estimated flight time. I already know this stuff. But if I didn't, this would be helpful things to know moving forward. It's even looking out for me by making sure I check the weather and reminds me to stay in contact with air traffic control and some other stuff. Skimming the steps it gave me, I realized I didn't establish what type of plane I'd use. Now I'm going to give it a plane type, a Beechcraft Bonanza H35 and the fact that I want to fly through the Atlanta Bravo airspace without having the contact ATC. You can see in its response that it is typical to communicate with ATC, but it does expand our understanding by providing other scenarios. Lucky for us, VFR flyways are one of the options. Looking at the Atlanta flyway chart, I can see a bunch of corridors. In navigation, they tend to use cardinal directions. So I'm guessing the corridor within this space is probably referred to as north. So we want to take the north corridor through the Bravo. So I then respond with a more specific prompt using the north VFR flyway route. Okay, it knows exactly what I'm talking about and responds more accurately. It defines the route, tells me to check the NOTAMs, and some other good stuff. 
I have enough content for me to conclude that during my clearance, I can specify the North VFR corridor. I feel like we're making progress. Once I have the Bravo figured out, I can finish up the rest of the routing for my flight. Now let's add waypoints to our flight. Starting on the east side of our North VFR corridor, making our way west through the Bravo. Great. From there, I like to go backwards in order to help me identify visual references close to my destination. We're going to speed this up a bit. The idea here is that I'm looking for references that I can see from the left side of the cockpit. I try to keep them roughly 10 to 20 nautical miles apart. All right, here's our final route. Now I want to get some aircraft performance data. This is where context really shines. I established earlier in this thread what my airplane type is. As I continue with the conversation, I no longer have to refer to Bonanza H-35. I can just say plane. I then prompted asking for a series of data points. Boom! I get a service ceiling, fuel burn, rotation, climbing, cruising, and descending speeds. I have to say, this does not replace the pilot's operating handbook. What this does is it makes it a wee bit easier to get a general flight plan going. Since the scope of this is flight simming, we're not putting anyone in any real danger. Well, using ChatGPT, we figured out routing, airspace, flight rules, and aircraft performance. In this next set of data, we'll see the limitations of ChatGPT. You'll want real-time weather and airport notices to airmen, also known as NOTAMs. ChatGPT does not have access to the internet. The multiples of terabytes of data it uses is stored and accessed with a date range. OpenAI and other companies that have their own AI systems must collect and process the data. Like good, concerned, and skeptical citizens, they can't just take all that data at its word. They have to strip out the opinions and take ethical measures in order to have reliable data. Because of that, they currently have data up to January 2022. What this means is we cannot get live weather METARs and NOTAMs for our flight. This is fine though. As flight simmers, we have numerous other tools to collect that information. With that said, I think we've met the goal of this video, helping you create a flight plan using the power of ChatGPT. I also hope you see the value in asking your AI assistant general aviation questions. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and join our community of aviation enthusiasts in our Discord. All the links are in the description below. I stream on Twitch every Tuesday at 1900 hours Eastern Standard Time. I also host a GA Tuesday event for the Pilot Club. All right, gang, take it easy. Ooh, I feel it. Ooh. I feel it. I feel like we're making progress. I feel it. I feel it. I feel like we're making progress. Today, I have something special in store for you. Hey there, aviators. Welcome back. I'll be the first to admit I was not into AI. It was, I didn't understand it.